about history, but here we have an opportunity to see a real life historian. So what I've been trying to do, and with the help of my students here, and this is Ms. Powell, our assistant principal here at West Middle School. collaborative efforts of the administration and the assistance with our students, what I'd like to do is present today to Colonel Watson a certificate from the students at West Middle School, and it reads as, the, as follows. The students of Brentwood West Middle School present the certificate to Lieutenant Colonel Span Watson. As one of the original Tuskegee Airmen, your sacrifice and dedication to service have allowed other generations to know that nothing is impossible. Be it known that the flag that I'm going to present was flown by me while I was stationed in Iraq with the 101st Airborne Division in 2003. It is very special. It is very special to me, but what Colonel Watson has done has enabled so many others to have opportunities that they may not have ever had. So thank you for all you have done and what you have enabled others to accomplish. Thank you, sir, so much. In addition to the certificate, I have provided for Colonel Watson all of the letters that the students that I have have written to him, thanking him, asking him questions, just simply acknowledging some of the challenges that he had to face while being one of the first African-American men to go through the Army training. And I know I've been in the Army now for 11 years. It's no joke, but I cannot imagine, cannot imagine what he and others like him had had to go through. So thank, thank you, sir. You. Thank you. That I, flow, that I flew while I was in northern Iraq in 2003. So thank you, sir. All of the children that are here today, not just, and I know there are others of you in the audience, to understand that, you know, we as a community, we do so much. And you don't hear so much, but this is what you see right now, some of the best that does go on here in our district. So thank all of you for allowing us. I want to thank this class for thinking and taking the time to write letters, to ask questions. I'll assure you, in spite of the, the, the phones of mail I get, I'm, I'm going to ask every one of these that you have asked me, that you have written. I'm going to look at it. And I'm going to get the, uh, write an answer for you. And I also would like to say to other members who are here who want to hear about the operation with the 99th Fighter Squadron, the 332nd Fighter Group, the Tuskegee Airmen reasons for success when others didn't do so well. As you know, it's been said that of all the bombers we escort, we didn't lose one. There's a reason for that. There are scores and scores and scores of other fighter units. But our commander, along with his good pilots, did what we were ordered to do, to stick with those bombers and make sure they got where they were supposed to go and to hell with trying to get a victory and become an ace 
to stick with the old bomber. If some of them had tried a little harder, there are thousands of people. The Tuskegee Airmen brought home. And the reason being, and their lives, they've lived out their lives. They came home. And, but we brought them home. And still trying to be the glory man ourselves. We had a lot of feeling toward the people fly those bombs. And we didn't think it was worth going off, chasing some German, and say, I shot him down. Or well, I'm an ace now. But well, while you were becoming an ace and some of the other guys, many people are dead and never came home. So that's the difference. Or oh, touch the air. That's the difference. You want to know what's the difference? That's the difference. A man's life is worth more than a note saying that I'm an ace or I shot down. Well, where you were shot to shoot down that German, the German was shooting down three B-24s or B-17 behind you. I intend to ask Air Force Association if they can give me a number of bombers that we lost in World War II. And then we can think of how many people should be here that are not. Whatever question.